Immersive entertainment is an expanding category here at the International CES, encompassing more and more categories of consumer technology. And you don't have to look very far to find out why. To me, immersive entertainment is creating a place in your home where you can have a suspension of disbelief, where you voluntarily surrender yourself to what you're experiencing, and it can be really emotionally impactful and dynamic and exciting, and, and that's kind of what we stand for. The number of gaming companies at CES continues to rise. Virtual reality is the next billion dollar market in consumer electronics technology. And from Oculus VR to Occipital to Snail Games, the gaming marketplace is where you'll find the hardware, software, and accessories designed to energize, empower, and excite the gaming experience. It has to engage and encapsulate the user's intention and draw them in for a long period of time. So it can't be just a, something they do casually in the parking lot while they're waiting to pick up their kids. It can't be something they do while they're sitting on the couch and listening to their husband talk. It has to be engaging and require interactivity. TVs are improving at a phenomenal pace and 4K ultra high definition continues to be the biggest story. Consumers are embracing 4K UHD for its immersive entertainment experience. We believe the 4K quality is the best way to improve the uh, immersive experience for the consumer. Because this way, uh, you can ensure the consumer is inside the event, uh, especially when you are looking at sport events. Be Bright is in a B2B market. We are providing uh, 4K HEVC compression systems for the broadcast industry, which means basically we have a technology, a unique technology to compress the video stream and allow the broadcaster or telcos to stream and distribute their 4K content on existing networks. Of course, with such an immersive viewing experience now available, the audio experience has to match as well. Well, I think we're poised uh, for a renaissance in aspiration for audio experience. I mean, the headphone business has never been stronger, and um, there is a real hunger out there for something better and, a no and sort of a knowledge and aspiration that it's there. Um, so we're extremely excited about it. We find ourselves, a lot of what we're doing is engaging new audiences to these immersive, over-the-top, world-class experiences, people that probably would not have been considered candidates for that even five years ago, so it's really a great time. The clash of content versus context is well underway in the pay TV industry. The way we watch TV has forever changed. What we do is we take smart televisions and make them content aware. So without us, your smart television doesn't know what it's actually displaying, and that's not very smart. Right? So we have a piece of software that's baked into the television, and that software figures out what the content is. And once I have that information, I can go and expose that to the show owner. And then they can go ahead and bring the interactive layer on top of that show and engage with you, the user. And since I'm giving them timeline, they can go ahead and synchronize that engagement to what is going on in the show. Whether it's virtual reality ushering in a new renaissance in gaming tech, or anytime, anywhere access on any type of device to video, the 2015 International CES brings out the best in immersive entertainment. For CES TV, I'm Tyler Supers.